Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that covers everything lit in the industry about your favorite personalities and also covers the biggest stories in the world of entertainment and lifestyle. My name is Ife Omai and I have the OG team with me to be doing the breaking down of all the hot topics of the day so they can slap better like Tuta Streets would say and that's none other than Ife Lua Oshike and Elsie Godwin. Praise to the most high. Mm. How are you Why doing? Praise the most high. Ah, is there a reason why not to praise the most? I, I forgot my glasses on and you guys remind me. I don't understand. I'm not your, like your personal stylist. <laughs> you don't have to be my personal stylist. You just have to be my personal person. No. That's all you need to be. <laughs> How are you guys doing though? Well, 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 you look well. gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Thank I you. Ah. Yeah. Okay, that's it as a vibe. Shit. I told you. It gives you, it gives you this type of confidence you never had. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Launching off today's episode with what is arguably one of the biggest stories of the week, but also quite an unfortunate one, which is none other than Lil Fresh, originally known as Sunny Goriola Wasin, versus his girlfriend, hopefully by now his ex, which is Gift Kamili. <laughs> the update of this story is they will take it to social media to upload screenshots. Wasi, well, sorry. Um, he opened a uh, screenshot of the terminated contract between his record label, Davido Music Worldwide DMW, and rapper Lil Fresh over the domestic violence allegations against her. So that's what's, that's what's going on. Personally, I don't know. I don't know. I like Davido a lot. I think I've come to like him since I, since I started working on this table. But <laughs> um, I think the fact that I haven't really heard him say anything is kind of disappointing. He looks like this this to me looked like I mean I'm I'm a hundred percent down for it and I approve it a hundred percent. But I wish he said something. Like it what? Look, I don't know, just said something this, like this could DMW said. does not stand with it. Like tweet something, but this clearly wasn't from you. Your team it looked like somebody that was like, ah, I don't want DMW? any I don't want any Wahala. Just come and write a contract, let's end it. I feel like for something that's so sensitive, David should have come out right to, you know. Say so we don't stand, we don't support this type of violence, blah 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 blah, and then attach that. The only reason why somebody wouldn't say that is because your hands are not clean. That's what came to my mind, but I don't know. That's just I how I don't know how you do it, girl, but you're <laughs> funny. You're very like, funny. That's how I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I, I saw mean, it. Like, that's how you feel. And it's it's legit yeah. to feel that yeah, way. Yeah. yeah, it's your opinion. But um, I mean, we've always had conversation regarding record labels that is floated by popular artists, and I know you've always asked me. I think that was on Stone Boy issue. Was it Stone Boy or Shatawali when they released a the statement? And you were like, so who is Stone Boy? Who is um the record label? So mm. I mean, Davido is DMW yeah. and. Um, I like the statement that was put out. Unfortunately, he, he was a DMW signee for just two weeks, right? Mm. And um, Twitter is always the place to be. They say it's village people and all, but no, there's I always, see that way there's always consequences Twitter. for your actions, actions yeah? yeah. Mm. And um, this guy is really young. Mm. Um, as much as I am very happy with what DMW has done, I'm hoping that everyone around him can actually help him become a better man because this person is a young boy. Mm. Um, I, I don't know how he was brought up. I don't know the environment he lived in that made him feel like battering a woman or a young girl like that is acceptable. So I believe he needs mentoring. And I'm hoping that, um, I don't know if DM, I DM, I don't know if David Doe will be open to something like this, but if genuinely he is not in support of domestic violence and rape and things of, of, of such a magnitude, then maybe it will be the best time to become like a big bro to this boy, to mentor him and get him to a certain point before you can still come back to the public to say, you know what, this is a changed man and we are going to be part of his career. I don't think we should throw away the baby with the bathwater. I think um, Lil Frosh needs to be mentored and um, taught the right thing. We cannot kill everybody. We have to teach ourselves the right thing. That's um, how I feel. For me, for me, I really admire Davido for his, his, his stand on this particular thing. Like you said, Davido is DMW. DMW is Davido. Um, it's an ongoing case, first of all. He mm -hmm. cannot come out to speak outrightly about it, even though he doesn't support it. This is the best he can do. Take a legal step. Now, this is somebody that is affiliated to your record label. For instance, um, let me use Plus TV Africa as an example. If there's anybody here now that has been accused of rape, with 
or without the person proving guilty, Plus TV Africa will disassociate themselves from that person at the moment. And they are not going to do it by holding a press conference mm. or by going on national television to say, if I do, I should get or wherever, why am I using myself as an example? <laughs> or wherever it is, has been accused and an investigation is ongoing. They will do it through mm. a press release or a lawyer or something. Mm -hmm. So David O has done exactly what, what he was to supposed to do. Yeah. do and he did it the right way. And I like the fact that they also said, internal investigation that is this guy they haven't said okay we are training me away completely but after internal no, investigation no, 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 after internal investigation uh -huh. we think the best thing is to part ways with this guy okay. so maybe if the case comes out and then suddenly he's, he's not, not actually bashing or what eh? or he's not the one that actually bashed the the girlfriend is that what you're saying I was getting there. I'm asking if it. Yeah, but I was getting there. You could have gotten your answer. You can just if you, say I'm coming patient. or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm You're saying. Making exactly. a big deal. I'm just asking a question. Okay, so um, if um, afterwards um, it's not proven that okay, no, this is not the case. This was exactly what happened. Blah 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 blah. No, blah, not blah. blah. That's what I'm asking. What is the blah blah blah? What's the I'm, other I'm, case? Why are you asking me like I'm part you're of the You're the one that's saying the. You're, you're the one that's I'm saying the. You're, scenario. Yes, exactly. And I'm asking about your scenario. So what's the other alternative if it's not the fact that Liu Fresh? I don't know the other alternative. I'm just saying impossible is nothing anything is possible so when i say okay. impossible is nothing anything can happen and then they come out tomorrow and say that leo Froch is still under a record label based on social grounds and we will still give them the listening here because this is record label is how they plan to make it go but you need to give us at least concrete reasons why you feel like this person See, is 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 okay I've to always come been back under, to under the impression that with David Doe, he these these signees are personal to him. That's the impression I've gotten. He's always really close to them, and I, it gives me that vibe. So when you put out the statement, not like I, not, not that there's nothing wrong with the statement, and you even mentioned it. So I'm kind of surprised if people don't see my. My trail of thoughts is that a caption could have been needed. We still, even if you repeat it again, we um, um, DMW and I, we don't stand with domestic violence or something. Both on both um, Instagram um, accounts, like that would have done it for me. But I, I mean, to each person his own, and I agree yeah. to what you're saying. I don't know. I don't know what you mean by an alternative. There's no other alternative except you're saying that. He's come to, he's come to um, what's it called, realize that he's really sorry and he's taking actions, like you've mentioned, to working against it. But there's no alternative to the fact that you beat someone, if, if, that, if that makes sense. You cannot come out and say that, oh, I, I'm not the one that actually um, beat the girl. Um, except, except it is that. There's no other alternative to the story other than you are actually um, wrong for hitting someone. If you now want to take another route and you want to mentor the person like you've mentioned, I mean, go ahead, do that. There's, there's definitely something wrong with the man like, like, said, like you, you can said throw he was the really child, young you can throw the child away with the bath water even david O put out a tweet or even make a post that stuff is permanent the receipts on social media is for life well, you're ruining that brother's career I, I still don't <laughs> get where you two are coming from because this press statement was put out from david O's twitter handle yeah, so yeah. at the end of the day it is still not going anywhere it is going to be there and um based on their own internal investigation and what we've seen online and the 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 lady sister and all it is clear that this guy did what he said he did so which yeah. is why i'm saying that yes. at this point i'm not saying what he did is right i'm not saying davido is wrong i mean davido has done what he's supposed to do but i'm saying i hope that he can step up as a mentor to actually help this boy or somebody else because Liu Frosh, please how old is this boy in question it's so, Liu. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if because he has done something of this magnitude, which is absolutely wrong that I cannot mm. even condone at this my age, then we should understand that this boy is a child and he needs to be mentored and helped. And also, if he's that talented to actually get um, Davido's attention, then we mm. need to get him to that point where he can realign his life and also get that opportunity. That's mm. where I'm coming from. Because if you go on to on the even the thread, the thread that Davido had posted out, you can see that lots of people were kind of and this people that don't necessarily um, throw or I would like say stand against domestic violence so you see a lot of people coming out to say and ah, David Doe smarting now that why are you sending him away maybe you try and figure out the situation obviously they're like sensationalizing really yeah the sensational sensationalizing that but if you think if you take Perizzi for example Perizzi had the same um, situation in terms of violence against women which was rape in his case mm -hmm. David Doe did not make this speech he's he not signed 
Okay. Video. Well, he's still associated to the video. Yeah. So he was he wasn't he was he didn't make any speech, he didn't do any of that. People are giving give, giving the video that response because his response was a bit too impersonal. It was correct and there's nothing to criticize about that. And I'm very glad that they are they're putting some kind of, you know, action to backing up the backing up the fact that they don't support domestic violence. But it was still a bit impersonal. I'm hoping I'm, to be honest with you, I don't think the story is over when it comes to David. I'm hoping he still comes out to say something because I'm, I'm sure you're, you're, his parents, which is Leo Fresh, has given you over as, as, an, as per David now, giving us to this person. So yeah, I agree to your thoughts that there should be some kind of um, um, advice as to where he got that action from, why, how he thinks that that's okay. If it's not, if it's not in the surrounding, where's he getting it from? If he's been terminated for that, it's obviously a big deal. Does he understand that it's a big deal? Because if not, give to me not be the first or second or third person, in my opinion. But let's move on. Okay, Nigerian artists Brenna Boy and Rema have been announced as nominees in the 2020 MTV European Music Awards Best African Act category. Other African artists in the category include Master KG, Kabza De Small, and DJ Maprosa, who are all from South Africa. Then we also have Sheba from Uganda and Gaz Mawete from DRC. DRC Congo. Commenting on the announcement, Monday Twala, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Viacom CBC Networks, Africa said that the 2020 MTV EMA is one of the biggest entertainment stages in the world and this year's African nominees are undoubtedly making their presence felt globally. No matter like, where you go, that's on. Why that's you, on. Why you coming in with songs <laughs> on every story? Yeah. Figure out your next song well, for the for me, um, I feel like Master Kiji is my guy for this one. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel mm. so. I definitely. In as much as I'm Nigerian, I love Rema. I love yeah, I'm Boy. When it yeah, comes to but I think Master KG is my guy and for this one. Bonaboy I think has, it's well deserved. Yeah, Bonaboy had it last year. Yeah. yeah. So I think Rema. I mean, okay, I'm so Rema. happy um, okay, for Rema. Rema and Master like, KG, yeah. His, his growth is something to be studied. I mean, we need mm. to go and arrest Don Jazzy and put him into one room and tell him to start spilling. But mm. it's just been amazing to watch um, this young man grow. And um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm remembering his Twitter rants from the other mm. time. But yeah, I, I like his progression and I really hope that he gets this one, even though it, it seems almost impossible with mm. the people he's... On that list, way, master, but we'll master see how KG. that goes. But shout out to Rema. Master KG is definitely a huge contender mm -hmm. for that one. Yeah. Um, he's been in the game a lot longer, though, I think, personally, yeah. and has had a lot more bangers under his belt. But I, 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 have, I have to agree. I think Rema is someone that I feel like should be getting all those awards, should be encouraging him because my guy is doing a lot. I really like his sound. I think he makes a lot of effort into his art for mm -hmm. a youngie. And his state performance and everything. Everything. I think he's, his level of excellence yeah. that he thrives for is something to be, you emulated. know, yeah. No, 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 just emulated, but commended to mm -hmm. say, you know, take this award, enjoy yourself, mm -hmm. go, on, go on, have fun. No, so we'll get there. I mean, I'm hoping that that's that he gets that type of recognition. He um, will, he will. Your well, congratulations to everyone nominated. Um, yeah, Lady okay. Gaga is getting a lot of it as well. Seven nods, actually. Yeah, yeah. seven. Yes. Most nominated That's person. That's amazing. In, in yes, the, uh, and Lady looking Gaga. at this being the 27th MTV, uh, yeah, MTV yeah. Awards. Mm. It's, it's a journey, and I, I think everyone who has been part of this journey should be proud. Mm. Um, I can't wait for them to get to 30 and do the grand thing, mm. but... Um, and having to do it this period as well, coronavirus mm. and yeah. everything, I, I want to see the creativity that they come up with. And um, I, I really wish everyone well. Being nominated is a huge Big deal day. already. So congratulations to Rema, Bonaboy, and everyone. I, I, was, I wasn't expecting to see Bonaboy responding. Again, but, all right. he, but he did respond to say he thank did. you, MTV. And, and you don't forget to mention that again. <laughs> thank you for nominating um, yeah, me so. again. Mm -hmm. um, good luck to him. I, I like that you mentioned, brought Lady Gaga into the, into the topic because... When I saw her thing, I just thought about how hard and how much work has gone behind staying relevant. Mm -hmm. um, she stayed relevant for quite a long time. I think my whole life, in terms of me remembering things, or not that since I've been born, but since I remember enjoying music and understanding that she's always been in, in the, the game. Picture, so yeah. that must be like hard work. Pretty, yes, must be hands on for these people to do that. So sure. a lot of credit to, to her. But let's see, Tim Corner, quick break. Please do stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you. 